for those people who don't exercise, they often feel that immense amount of guilt and they, you know, have those thoughts of, oh, I should be exercising, oh my goodness, you know, I've got too much, you know, fat around my tummy or my, my butt or whatever it might be. You know, uh, you know, everyone tells me I should be, why don't I, I'm just lazy. You know, I used to, why can't I anymore? My friend Joe's able to, uh, Stephen's, you know, so fit and he does it so easily. What's wrong with me? Why can't I get the motivation to, to uh, go out and do so? I did it for one, one day of the week. Why can't I do it for three? There's this constant sort of negativity that comes from judgment. And it's the judgment that goes out and causes all the grief. So as much as mental health is connected with exercise, our mental health is very, very much connected with judgment. So on that basis, I want everyone to think about the judgment around mental health, uh, the judgment, sorry, uh, around whether they're exercising or not. And on this basis, if you're not exercising, give, your, give yourself permission not to. You don't have to. No one's going out and saying you must. There are lots of things that will be beneficial for you. There's things that are beneficial for me. But guess what? I don't necessarily do them. It's better if I go out and get more sleep. It's better if I go out and exercise better. Uh, more, sorry. It's, it's better if I go out and, and uh, do something a little bit more productive uh, of an evening. But guess what? I don't do it. I might stay up late. I won't go out and go to the gym. I might go out and you know watch television or Netflix or whatever it might be of an evening. That doesn't make me a bad person. Just give yourself a bit of permission. It's okay for me to do so. So some food for thought. Uh, you don't have to exercise, but please, 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 please be mindful. Don't go out and judge.